Welcome, this is Dr. Amanda Rockinson Zapku, and in this tutorial, we are going to overview the assumptions for the two way ANOVA. In order for an ANOVA, specifically the two way ANOVA, to be robust, certain assumptions that underlie it need to be met. Now, there are three assumptions that need to be considered after the data has been collected in order for the results of the two way ANOVA to be valid. The first assumption is the assumption of no extreme outliers. For each of the dependent variables, we need to create box plots to ensure that there are no extreme outliers. The sec second assumption is the assumption of normality. Now remember, the normality assumption assumes that the distribution of the dependent variable is normal in each group. We check for normality by creating either histograms or conducting normality tests such as Shapiro-Wilkes or kil migornov smirnov On the histogram, what we're hoping to see if normality is assumed is a symmetrical bell-shaped curve. For the normality test, we are hoping for non-significant results or results with a significance level of more than 0.05 as this indicates normality. This is checked for each of the grouping variables. Fortunately, what we know is the two-way ANOVA is fairly robust to violations of normality. That is, the assumption can be mildly to moderately violated and still provide valid results. In fact, some statistical texts will state that the two-way ANOVA only requires approximately normal data, and while Others will even say that skewed data is fine as long as the number of cases in each group is similar. So we have the assumption of no extreme outliers, the assumption of normality, and finally, the assumption of homogeneity of variance. The homogeneity of variance assumption assumes that the population distribution has, distributions really have the same variance. If this assumption is violated, unfortunately, the averaging of our variance is really not valid. And if violated, um, really what should happen is you should probably use some type of modified statistical procedure. Now, for in order to eval evaluate this assumption, we use Levine's test for equality of variance. In SPSS, this is actually part of the outputs for the two-way ANOVA, but we'll look at it separately uh, just on the, in the tutorial for this specific assumption. What we're hoping for here is to have a significance level larger than 0.05, which will indicate that the equal variance can be assumed. Unfortunately, a significance level of less than 0.05 means that variance cannot be assumed and the assumption is not tenable. So for the two-way ANOVA, there are three assumptions that need to be met in order for the procedure to be valid.